Hello. So there's uh, been some questions about how you would make a digital portfolio. So uh, what I've decided to do is uh, make a very quick video on how um, I would go about making a digital portfolio. So first of all, if we just have a quick look um, at you know, how I'm laying out uh, this digital portfolio. I'm not going to go into what to include in your portfolio because I've already made um, a video about that and you can see that on our Ravensbourne YouTube channel. But here is an example of a project, um, one project from beginning uh, until the end. So we have um, our kind of sketches and all of our research of this character and then ending in that kind of final character sheet or the final project, right? So. Um, this is showing that kind of complete journey from beginning to end, but this is on a kind of a digital format and it's not on physical paper, right? So I think to be very simple about this, I'll talk to you about three potential softwares that you might use to lay out your portfolio. Now, I would always recommend using a software called InDesign, uh, but InDesign is part of the Adobe uh, package and it costs quite a lot of money um, to, to get the Adobe Suite and you might not have that uh, and you might not want to spend the money and I don't think you should need to. The benefit of InDesign is that you have more control over um, you know, type and placement uh, uh, and you, know, you, you just have a lot more kind of functions, design functions within that but it is by, by no means the only solution to making a digital portfolio. So you can see here that I've um, laid uh, this digital uh, portfolio out on Google Slides. Um, so now Google Slides is a free bit of software. All you'd need to do is create a Google account and you'll have access to Google Slides. You simply open that up and create a presentation and then place your images uh, on the slides. Um, I'm, I'm not going to go into how you do that for each of these softwares yet. Um, I think, you know, if you're really struggling, then you can simply just go on to YouTube and it will show you. But um, what we're going to talk about is once you've finished laying out your portfolio, how you would save uh, this digital portfolio um, as, a, as a PDF file. And a PDF um, would be the kind of universal standard, I'd say, for a digital portfolio. They may ask you for like JPEGs or things like that, but that, but let the university lead you on that. If they don't tell you what file format uh, to make them in, just assume that you need to make um, a PDF. So we're going to look at how to do that both on uh, Google Slides. Um, we also have here we have Keynotes. Um, and Keynotes is, I believe, an, uh, an Apple software, a free Apple software. So if you have an Apple Mac, uh, you should uh, have Keynotes on there. Um, and we're also going to use, uh, we're also going to look at um, um, PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint. Again, you'll need a subscription to Microsoft, uh, the Microsoft software like Word, PowerPoint, Excel. Um, but you know, if you don't have one of those, I'm hoping you'll have one of these three here. OK, so let's start um, with um, Google Slides. So here we go. We have the same presentation pretty much on all three of those softwares. And we're going to turn, we're going to show you how to make a PDF out of all three of those on those three different softwares. Uh, so on Google Slides, what you want to do once you've finished your portfolio is you want to go to File. And then you scroll down um, and you're going to go, you're going to scroll down to download here and you'll go across and you will see PDF document. Click on that um, and it will download it straight onto your browser like that. And I'm going to click on that and open it up and you'll see that it's created my digital file into a PDF. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this button up here. Um, and that is the, uh, the button on the top right hand side that looks like an arrow going down with a line underneath it. And I've created um, a folder on my desktop called digital uh, portfolio. This is also going to be called digital portfolio and I'll just make it clear 
for our purposes, um, I will say slides, as in Google Slides, slides. Um, and I'm simply just going to save it there. Um, now, I, if I scroll across, I have an open uh, window here, and I look in my digital portfolio, and then here we go, we have a PDF of our um, portfolio. There we go. So that's how you do that on uh, Google Slides. So let's have a look now on uh, Keynote. Again, very simply, most of the time what you want to do is find the file button and you click on file. And on here, to make a PDF, you want to go to export to. Okay, so we're going to go across, export to, click PDF, and it will give you uh, this window here. And you want to make sure uh, that it's clicked on best, okay? Because it will mean that the quality of the image that they compress the file down into a PDF will be very, very good, okay? And really, that's what we're trying to do with portfolio uh, documents, is the images, obviously, are things that are going to speak for you, right? So click Next, and then it gives us an a, um, option of where to put the file. And I'm going to call this uh, digital portfolio. Um, and I'm going to call it Keynote. And we're going to choose our digital portfolio um, file and click export. That's generated the PDF. Let's go and have a look. And then we go to our digital portfolio Keynote, click on that. Um, and there you go. We have our digital um, PDF. And finally, let's have a look at um, Microsoft PowerPoint. So as you see, I've laid these out. Oh, one thing to, to notice that I may not have more, uh, talked about is that both, um, that both um, PowerPoint and Google Slides have kind of got this landscape format that you'll have to try and work with. Uh, when you design your portfolio. So what I've done here is I've actually laid out two pages of a portfolio side by side, um, at which you, which the viewer can then scroll down and through. So really it's taking, turning uh, my three page portfolio into a two page portfolio by putting two of those smaller pages on the first one and then uh, the final outcome uh, on the last page. Um, keynotes, and what's quite good about Keynotes is Keynotes, um, is a little bit more um, is a little bit more regulated. This kind of uh, I think this is a, like almost a medium format or kind of a square format. So I was I was able to kind of get three pages of a portfolio on here, as you can see there. So you've got the first page, second page, third page, and um, with um, PowerPoint here, you see I have to do what similar to what I did on Google Slides is put the two pages next to each other and then the last one down there. Okay, so when we're on PowerPoint and we want to create a PDF, again, uh, we're going to go to File. We're gonna click Save As this time. And then here we have a similar kind of save function as uh, Keynotes. So we're gonna type in uh, Digital Portfolio and then PowerPoint, just so that we can, uh, just so we know, you know which, which software we're using. And then we're going to go down to the bottom here where it says file format, and it should give you all sorts of options. So we've got here uh, a PPT, which is a, um, which is a PowerPoint file format, uh, and we've got different versions of those. And then we have the PDF version, right? So we click on PDF. And then we click the export button, the blue export button. Oh, did I, where did I save that? Oh, I actually stupidly saved that and dumped it onto my desktop. Um, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna delete that and then we'll start again. I'm gonna move that to trash because I jumped the gun a bit there, my apologies. So we go to file, we go to save as um, digital portfolio, digital port. Portfolio. 
Okay, and then we select the file that we want to put it in. Um, then we go to file format, click on PDF, and then click export. And you should see it come up. Yeah, there we go. And there is our PDF, our digital PDF made on PowerPoint, right? So the important thing to take away from this is that no matter what software you're working on, you want to save as a PDF. Um, so quickly, uh, a quick um, note about taking pictures of your work. Now, there are loads of videos on YouTube about how you would photograph uh, pages from your sketchbook uh, and make sure that you kind of upload the best quality photograph that you possibly can. Um, and a lot of that has to do with natural lighting um, and sort of staging of your uh, sketchbook. Now, I really, really suggest that you look into just how you can take very simple photographs of your sketchbook um, or, or of work at the highest possible standard just with an iPhone. So please do look into that. But uh, the I think the best solution for kind of um, getting your work into a digital so sort of 2D work into a three into 3D digital work, sorry, into digital work is to scan it. Um, so uh, scanners can range and uh, from all sorts of um, different prices there. Um, I, I think you can find some deals maybe even on like Gumtree. Uh, but if you can, do think about investing in a small uh, A4 scanner. Now, the important thing to remember if you have got a scanner is that all artwork needs to be scanned at 300 DPI. And uh, DPI stands for dots per inch. And it's the kind of amount of information that scanner is going to generate per inch of the scan. Anything underneath 300 DPI, especially kind of detailed pencil work, is going to be pixelated and it will not be clear. So all images that you scan need to be at 300 DPI. And then once you have those images, you want to put them uh, and save them as JPEGs, um, which will then be easily uploaded onto uh, Google Slides, Keypoint or Power, uh, Keynotes, sorry, or PowerPoint. So there you go. I hope that that was useful for you. It was very quick, um, but hopefully it'll give you a little bit more confidence about how you can make very simple and effective uh, digital portfolios. Okay, good luck guys and uh, see you and speak to you soon. Bye-bye.